Welcome to my channel. I am Matthew and today we are going to do a shave video. Real quick, I'm going to wet my face. Oh yes, it is time for a shave. Now today's shave soap, let me rewind just a little bit and talk about this is take two for the timeless titanium razor and this one is the 0.95 that's going to be the razor for today and today i'm going to kind of do a quick video and this is the love it leave it hate it forget it whatever you want to say but i'm going to use the arco stick because I'm in a little bit of a hurry and I don't wanna whip up a big massive lather. And uh, so all you gotta do is rub this dude on your face. I have two days worth of growth here and uh, this stick is a little bit dry, drier than normal, I guess you could say. I haven't used this in a while. And <clears throat> this particular soap uh, a lot of people don't like it because of the smell or the scent and to me it's just a nice clean lemon scent and it's not real heavy um i used to use this a lot and i do like it but i do like to have a little bit of variation and today's brush is by trotter and man this is a beautiful brush i know the lighting doesn't pick it up but it's got a lot of sparkle and pearl in it and if you can see look at how the tips are gelled and just whew, all kinds of goodness in there and this brush does like to hold a lot of water so we're not gonna probably go too crazy with the lather but uh, as you can see, uh, the Arco really doesn't have too much of a problem lathering up. I really like it. I mean, it's not a super slick soap, but uh, it does provide everything that you need. And if you have a brush and say it doesn't lather quite like this, you know, you can always take the stick and just kind of rub on there a little bit and build up a little quick lather. But Whenever I bought uh, this soap, I think I got like a 12 pack or the price was quite a bit uh, lower than what it is now. But I think it was right around $1.40 for a stick. And I had actually weighed it and shaved with it, you know, just to see how many times I could uh, estimate how many shaves I could get out of one. And then I actually went through and used one up. And if you go super heavy, you know, it's right around 90 shaves for me. Uh, and that's two passes. And usually, you know, you don't really need to put more, you know, loaded in the brush. You know, just what, what I put on the face is enough for two passes. And <clears throat> so if you use Arco or you hate it, comment below and let me know. And today's blade is going to be the Gillette Silver Blue. And this is a second use blade. Need to load this up real quick. And I'm a little optimistic about this <laughs> razor just because, you know, I had uh, the other plate and it was super mild and I had to send it in and wait for them to check it out and send me this one. But they did it nonetheless. And, um, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. I, I really thought they would just send me the new one and then uh, just wait for, you know, for me to send the other one back. But that's not what they chose to do. And, you know, I mean, it's their company. They can, they can do what they want with it. I don't know, this just, I, I'm not happy with this razor. I really, I'm not. I mean, with the 0.95 gap. And this, I mean, it's definitely smooth. 
but it's just not picking up much for whatever reason. Uh, there is a lot to be desired on this and uh, I have buyer's remorse. Jerry, you dog, you told me this was a great razor. I'm not gonna listen to you on razors anymore. <laughs> Did you feel that bus, Jerry? I don't know, I just, you know, it's like when you look at it, there's a lot of blade reveal, but then the gap is just not really there. I don't know, it's just, maybe it's the geometry of the head. If you ride the cap, you're definitely not getting anything. If you ride the comb, it's just kind of skipping right over the top. And uh, it makes me feel like I need to add more pressure to get what I need there. And, um, yep, this will be on the buy, sell, trade group real quick. So, since I can't bend over and wet my face uh, still, I've got to use the mister. Speaking of mister, I'm not happy with this razor, mister. Mm. Yeah, it needs like a 1.3 millimeter gap in order for it to perform, I believe. But, you know, the soap brings back nice memories. I don't know why, but it reminds me of the ivory soap when I was a child. I know a lot of people say ivory doesn't have a lemon scent, but... I don't know, it's just got kind of a nice, clean soap smell. You know how soap just kind of has a, a soap smell to it, even though it may not be scented? That's kind of what it reminds me of. So There you go. Now you know. All right, so let's go ahead with pass two. And I would be a betting man that I could take the game changer out and probably pick up stubble after this second pass and i know it's not a baby but smooth shave that's not what i go for but i could tell you this um i could still do three passes with this and it's not gonna be hear that still a bunch there yeah it's just not not what I want. Mm -hmm. Just uh, really disappointed. So if somebody asked me, you know, like, hey, would you buy that? Do you recommend it? I mean, if you, this, this is still very mild. I mean, I would put it in the range of like the Henson. It just, it yes, it's taking hair off, but it really just feels like, like a three o'clock shadow. That's what it feels like. And with the game changer, two passes, doesn't leave that. Or like my last video, the Cooper razor, one pass, this, that did excellent. This one, nah, $255. I would say get a different razor, multiple razors at that price and try some out, not this one. So let me get cleaned up with some cold water and I'll be right back. <laughs> You guys caught me. I can't. That I did the cold water rinse, and that shave was so unacceptable. Breaking out the game changer, and, and I'm just gonna do a with the grain pass here. Now that's what I'm talking. 
I don't know if you can hear it. You can just hear all. All of the hair that that left. Now, that is a big but smooth shave. So, you know, I mean, if you want a timeless razor just to knock down 50 or 40% of your facial hair, get it and then chase it with the game changer. Yeah. Perfect. Mm hmm. It's like, sound like it's putting butter on toast. Okay, now I'm going to get cleaned up for the second time with some cold water. I'm going to follow that up with a little bit of Sterling Aftershave Splash. Mmm. And to top that off, a little bit of star jelly. Star jelly will make my shave a little better. Yep. All right, well, I'll put a useless picture of a shitty razor right here. I mean, <laughs> guys well that completes my shave of the day and i will see you guys on will it shave wednesday